Okay, so every website needs a cache, something that will enable it to save pages that it's already loaded before that have never changed, and it allows it to reload this information from already found networks. So again, this, this cache system will speed up your website so much, it's going to usually cut the speed almost down by half if you have a larger website. If you have a smaller and already quick one, it's going to save, you know, somewhere between 10 and 15%. Either way, this is always something beneficial to have in a world where we move so quick, the average attention span is seven seconds, and the average time someone spends on a website is 10 before they leave. And most people, I think it was Amazon that did the review, for every 10th of a second that it took to load its pages for a sale to be made, it ended up losing 7%. That, that's insane. That basically means, you know, you're, it's not like you can lose everything, but if a page takes, you know, four or five seconds to load, people aren't just going to hang around for that. It, it's, you got to at least have some things, some data that's loading up front, and then the cache will load the other things later as you scroll down the page. So what we're going to do is we're going to enable almost everything. We're going to preload home page, pace, uh, pages, posts, and even attachments. And we want to do this at a decent rate, so we're going to do two per minute. And then we're going to clear it when a new post is made. And we're going to clear the home page and the post categories same thing again we want to minify everything gzip and do browser caching and then we're going to submit so basically enabling everything that we possibly can in order to speed up the website and we're going to bring down those times by quite a bit in fact let me go ahead and show you the final things you can actually delete cache inside of here. So if you want to refresh a new page, you haven't updated it, or you wanted to see if some change was made, delete all this cache that guarantees that you're loading a fresh website for every browser. Now you can add rules like timeouts. You can buy the premium version, which I do suggest. I myself have the premium version. It only costs, I believe, $19 and this will actually optimize your images for you so that they're compressed they keep the what i would consider lossless quality and that keeps them high retina scaled etc however you already have them and it reduces that image file size for what's necessary and the quality and the clarity and it reduces as much as it can compressing that image so that its file size isn't as large which means better loading times so all this is done automatically for you and you get, I believe, um, it's either a thousand or nine thousand credits, basically, more than you could ever end up using. I even have uh, moved it over to different websites and still keep on using up the credits and even if you wanted to purchase some, it's like 99 cents to optimize a whole new website and you're done for 99 cents. So <laughs> it's amazing. So, okay, there it was, they have raised it. So it's $40 now, it used to be 20. I'm sure you can get a coupon and even get that lowered potentially. Outside of that, you aren't gonna really be adding too many rules inside of this unless you want to specifically have a page that you update often, maybe a sales page or a sales funnel, something like that. And if you have any content delivery networks or CDNs, you can connect those here as well. And what that's finally going to do, the last thing is the database cleanup, which is a big plus to have, especially once you get done utilizing all of the defaults, your demo data, uploading templates, uploading plugins, deleting plugins. There's gonna be a lot of behind the scenes data that's unused and hasn't been cleaned up. So WP Fastest Cache, it's premium version, takes care of all of this and makes it really an ease to be able to speed up your website a lot. In fact, what I'm going to do is show you a test of a before and after in the next video so that way you can see kind of the difference it makes.